Good morning. Uh, I'm Jack Apata from uh, Immobiliare.it Maps team. Um, I'll be talking about uh, how and why we realized our map system based on OpenStreetMap. Um, I'll be talking about uh, our experience starting from the opposite direction we took. First of all, outsourcing maps is not always a bad idea. Uh, if you need uh, just a quick and easy solution that is uh, useful for the common uh, needs, for the common tasks of your business, and if you uh, uh, may pay for these services, for example, if you have a restaurant and just want to tell your uh, customers uh, where, where, the, your, where your restaurant is located, well, oh, wow, uh, you definitely maybe don't need OpenStreetMap based maps. So we can forgive you. Um, but in general, what if you have a problem and no one else can help you? What if you need a particular solution? What if you are low in budget and want to uh, look for something that uh, other providers doesn't, don't offer to you? Well, uh, then you should build a team that uh, have the competencies and the skills uh, that can help you um, pro uh, building a particular solution more suitable for your, uh, uh, for your business. Uh, most important thing, this solution could be, can be built entirely with open source software and instruments. So this team may really help your business going on. <laughs> what kind of advantages can you have from this team? A strong customization, because uh, having the right data and the right competencies, you, have, uh, you, you may style your data to help your business and to obtain beautiful maps to build uh, services useful for your business. You may get a cheaper solution, because uh, um, you don't have to pay any more periodic fees to expensive uh, um, private providers. Uh, uh, you can, uh, anyway, you can get beautiful maps with the right competencies. Um, you, more impo most important thing, you can realize your plans. We are not only talking about maps. You can realize your project. You can extract what you need. Okay? So you can replace the existing services you had from the preceding providers and create your future solutions and new services. So you can realize, create your plans and realize them. Obviously, you have to address some issues. Uh, the initial investment, you have to, to get uh, servers, databases. Uh, you have to get uh, a reliable broadband connection. Uh, you have to acquire the know-how, the competencies in order to realize uh, such a project, such a system. Uh, you have to sustain integration and substitution costs. And you have to provide yourself to the maintenance of your map system, because it has to be reliable, efficient, uh, up-to-date, and correct. So more than this, you have to make such a replacement of the old system, of the old provider, or the old services provided by uh, private uh, uh, providers with your own system, you have to make this replacement as transparent as possible for your existing system. So the solutions may, may not be out of the box solutions, so you may need an adapter to make this process as transparent as possible. So ponder your choice, because uh, you have to you have to ponder all these uh, all these all these points and uh, choose which way to take. Okay, um, let's suppose we want to follow the white trap. These are the main steps we have to pass through. First, we have to choose the right infrastructure. Uh, we have to provide the right customization, more suitable the, the most suitable for our for our business. And we have to provide the maintenance and the update of our system. Uh, at the very beginning of our uh, of our project, uh, this is uh, the the stack we uh, we have based uh, our system on. 
Uh, this is uh, maybe one of the most widespread stack uh, used for creating uh, maps based on OpenStreetMap. Uh, um, starting from uh, PostgreSQL data, uh, information are fetched by a rendering uh, engine based on Mapnik. Uh, we use the cache to speed up the rendering, and then tiles are provided to uh, JavaScript clients in order to be used by uh, the, 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 um, to, to, be cre to, to create the, the maps, the browser maps or the static images. Uh, the, import the important is that all the uh, elements in this stack are uh, open source instruments. Well, uh, then we have to uh, think about the customization of our maps. Uh, this is a process um, based on two steps, the data extraction and styling data. Extracting data, we have to choose what to represent on our maps. And styling data uh, tells us how to visualize those information on the map. Uh, these two steps should always be focused on our business, because we have to create a map helping our business. So we have to maybe uh, reduce the information in order to um, uh, keep the map uh, as uh, usable as possible uh, from, the, uh, from our uh, clients, from our customers. So as you may see, this may, be, this may, uh, this may make a big uh, difference between uh, maps originated from the same source of a street map. Uh, as most of you may know, of a street map rendering database schema is uh, uh, based uh, upon uh, substantially uh, three kinds of features, points, lines, and polygons. Um, and these kinds of features are always characterized by their tags, defining their properties, their attributes. So a, a point uh, can be a subway station, a line can be a motorway, or a, a polygon may be a forest, just the system uh, takes the information about what we want to extract and flatten this information in order to realize the map. This is very important in the, uh, in the uh, part about the maintenance and update of the map because OpenStreetMap offers us a great opportunity, uh, giving us the possibility to choose between day, hour, and minute diff, giving away a huge degree of freedom in organize our update tasks. Well, is everything, is, uh, are all the data imported by opposite map correct? We wish we could uh, stress all the information uh, coming from a street map, but we have to check them. Um, we uh, make some, uh, some controls on data, focused on our business. So uh, we, our business is real estate. So uh, for example, we can check if uh, uh, a building has been moved or changed its shape. Uh, or for example, if the name of a street or of a town, or a, um, a neighborhood of a town, a little town like this case, has been removed. So uh, we, we, we make some changes uh, in well focused on our business. We don't, we don't control everything, but we, we uh, make changes focused on our business. <laughs> Errors are part of the game. We can, we can make mistakes, but in this case, uh, this was not our mistakes, obviously. This uh, is also something difficult to, uh, to check. Um, an online magazine uh, uh, diffused the, the, the news that uh, by um, um, telling that uh, we have classified a, a, a suburb near Genoa like Bronx. It, this was, was definitely not our fault. <laughs> but uh, the, 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 the online magazine said like, something like this. Um, we, uh, uh, have correct, we have fixed this, uh, such an error on the map. Uh, but the, the positive side of such a new is that the online magazine knew that we had our own maps. So this, there is a, a little positive side in this new. So maybe you are, we are doing uh, a good work. 
maybe. Um, well, it's uh, beautiful to use OpenStreetMap, but OpenStreetMap have to be has to be sustained. We have to contribute to OpenStreetMap to continue using OpenStreetMap. We have a policy of uh, uh, public and private contributions. Um, public contributions consist of changes we apply to our maps that we then apply to OpenStreetMap 2. So these changes are visible on both the systems. Private contributions are changes we apply to our system, but not to OpenStreetMap, uh, not at once, at least. Uh, what does it mean? Um, the, the typical example is the, the example of the, the new buildings. If, if a customer of us, um, a real estate agency, for example, uh, tells us that in a green area is going to be built, built uh, a, a new building, okay, uh, we can add this element if you if you know, for example, the the, the base shape or something, or some other information, the height of if there are boundaries around. We can add this information to our map, but it's not correct to add this information to a street map for our interest, because this building is going to be rising in two years. So, OpenStreetMap street map users could be in that area and see a group of sheep and nothing else. But uh, maybe when the building is realized, if not other, uh, other users uh, have already added the, the element to the public map of OpenStreetMap, the then we push our data to OpenStreetMap to make it public. This has uh, uh, advantages, so we can add the data of interest for our business to, to the map. And we if we can add protection against harmful changes. We, we can uh, uh, mm, uh, keep some uh, element of interest for us, for example, the new building uh, protected, and uh, no other users can change it at least, uh, until we make it public. Of course, uh, we, this makes the system more complex. How does it work? <clears throat> Basically, uh, given the fact that we can have uh, a MapDB with public and private changes, uh, we, um, we, have to, we have to pay attention to the fact that OpenStreetMap uses sequential IDs. First of all, we drop these changes in two dumps, separate, separating private and public changes. We then push public changes to OpenStreetMap. We then get back public changes from OpenStreetMap through the import of diffs. And then we reapply uh, our changes in order to overwrite uh, uh, our changes to uh, eventually uh, to uh, changes done by other users, maybe on elements we modified in our private changes. At the end, our change our changes have to win over the others because we have this interest as an enterprise. So in our, <clears throat> in our experience, uh, so far, we are uh, able to serve uh, your, our nine partners in reality, so far. Uh, seven partners across Europe uh, we can serve uh, 50 million tiles uh, uh, a day with different styles and different languages. This is helping a lot our business. But we also have future plans. So in the first, uh, in the first group of points, we have replaced the existing maps service. And now we have future plans for our projects. We want to work with vector tiles. 3D layers, and of course, improve validation. It's fundamental. And this is more important. Th these three points mean that we can create our plans. As I said before, we can develop our ideas. We can think of services that could help our business to, to, to grow up. And we can build these, uh, these services. 
So let's uh, we have to consider if switch to OpenStreetMap can help our business. We have to know that there are, there are issues to address, especially at the beginning, to build this map system to replace the old one. And very important, we have to support OpenStreetMap. As an enterprise, we make even more than a single community member. We can help OpenStreetMap to grow a lot. So this is a responsibility for us as an enterprise to use OpenStreetMap to make it possible to, 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 uh, to spread the, the information. The OpenStreetMap is a valid instrument to build maps. But we have the responsibility to contribute to OpenStreetMap. Also, in the validation process, we can make a lot as an enterprise. We contribute to OpenStreetMap because uh, it's something like planting trees in a park. We are going to have fun. Thank you very much. Thank you, Andrea, for the nice talks. There are any questions from the public? I have two questions, so related to the public-private changes point that you made. So uh, could you share what kind of private changes you, know, you make on your side? Uh, and the second question is, so you mentioned that you merge public and private. Sorry, I didn't understand the first question. So my question is, you mentioned public changes and private changes. Yeah. So could you share what kind of private changes do you make on your side? If I can, if I can share the private changes? No, no, what I mean is like, just share, like what type, do you, for example, add new buildings? Do you add like, you know, you know, road building shapes, do you add intersections? I'm just curious what... Oh, private, I, the information we are going to apply to our maps, but not at once on, to OpenStreetMap. For example, new buildings not still realized in reality, but it is not because it's not correct to, to put on, on OpenStreetMap an information that is something that doesn't exist, actually. So. <clears throat> this is the kind of uh, uh, information I call private. And uh, so later on, after, let's say, you know, you have this, and the next time maybe somebody else has also added this information, Yeah. maybe in a slightly different way. Like maybe your road building shape looks like this, their building shape looks like slightly like th this. Mm -hmm. Then how do you decide which one is correct? Like should you keep your version? Or should you keep like a different version? If if, if I if I understand the question, um, if I have a building um, that is uh, and that has a private uh, change by us, and this uh, if this uh, building has been modified by someone else on OpenStreetMap, uh, we yes. import the diff. Our changes for our bus business interest mm. have always to win over over because uh, if we have modified this building the, we know that this building is done in uh, in a certain way so uh, until this uh, this uh, uh, change on this building is marked as private by us our changes will uh, always win on public changes thank you is there a question? I, I am Italian, so I know very well the situation of the coverage of open street from in Italy. And uh, if you go in South Italy, for example, Calabria, there is nothing, or there are the roads without names, uh, buildings not, are not present, some villas are to build and other. Or you saw the, the places where there is nothing. Or you, so? saw, or you show your map, there is nothing. Or you can use the map if there is nothing, no okay. data inside. We have, we are, uh, we have um, 
uh, we live on the um, notifications of our customers, uh, real estate agencies, typically. So if an agency uh, knows that uh, some other, some customer of itself uh, have uh, buildings to rent or to be uh, uh, sell um, in, uh, uh, to be purchased in that zone, uh, they uh, uh, notify us this situation, and with our um, editing team, uh, we are going to modify that zone to see from uh, um, uh, aerial images. On, the, the, our, on our editing tools, uh, then we uh, up update images, uh, and uh, we uh, go to uh, we navigate to that zone and try to define these buildings, and uh, then push this modification as private or uh, public onto a state map or to our system. Uh, the names of the street. Uh, um, uh, we also um, take this information from the agency if the agency can give this information because if the agency tells us that the customer wants to sell a building also will give such information about the, um, the zone around the, the building. So we can uh, map zone by zone on the um, news uh, coming from our customers. Thank you. Hi, um, can you please tell us more about the kind of validation you do on OpenStreetMap data before importing in, uh, your platform? If, if we do validation? What kind of validation okay. do you perform? Uh, um, our validation process uh, is composed uh, by two steps. First of all, uh, every time we import a diff, uh, we check relevant uh, uh, changes. Uh, for example, if uh, uh, the name of, um, of a suburb has been moved uh, far away uh, from the, its initial location. Or for example, if a street has been uh, changed in a relevant manner from its original position, then we make uh, a, a, a raw validation for so far, because we do, uh, we do uh, based on these relevant changes, a pixel by pixel comparison on the uh, between the as is status of the production database and the uh, the, uh, the 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 future status that uh, the system would uh, would take if the uh, if the um, uh, the diff would be applied in production. Uh, and so we we can uh, uh, we can check the the, the correctness of the um, of the uh, of the the change, but we are going to uh, to improve the, our validation process because because this is a simple uh, uh, pixel by pixel comparison and. Um, we would like to uh, make it a little bit smarter, uh, maybe adding uh, uh, some uh, uh, machine learning algorithms uh, from our uh, quality assurance team. So you said um, about it's good for companies that use op that switch to OpenStreetMap to also support OpenStreetMap. And you said that uh, by kind of making contributions to OpenStreetMap, but there are other ways you can support it. So um, I want to thank you for sponsoring uh, or being one of the sponsors of the conference. But I wondered if you're supporting OpenStreetMap in other ways, such as going to local events or maybe ho helping the local community with any, you know, they have a lot of volunteers, and if you help with any time or tasks that they do or other support that I haven't thought of. We are using uh, open source, uh, we are using uh, open city map based maps uh, from uh, uh, June uh, 
2017, so it's just one year. Uh, so far, our contribution is to um, validate data and correct data on our system and on OpenStreetMap and uh, to uh, um, apply our validation process that, he, that is uh, uh, quite raw so far, but we can help in this way. Uh, for the future, of course, we can, uh, uh, we can develop proje uh, other projects to support this uh, this, uh, this uh, platform because it's very important for us that OpenStreetMap uh, could can live and prosper. So we have time for the last questions. The model how you upload to OpenStreetMap seems a little bit strange for me. Uh, have you ever discussed this online with the community, the model how you upload to OSM with a private and not private and so on? Uh, we upload uh, uh, modifications to the use of the, the APIs, and we um, discriminate between private, uh, if, if I well understand the, the, the question, um, we discriminate between private and public uh, uh, changes, we do, uh, by the use of internal tags internal to our system. So if uh, a member of our uh, editing team marks uh, the changes uh, adding a, a particular tag, we know in our periodic uh, process of uh, uh, publication that this element should, be, uh, should go in the private dump or in the public dump to be pushed only to our, to know if uh, it should be pushed only to our system or to OpenStreetMap too. And we, no, it, I don't, I didn't understand the question. Maybe you can have private okay. the conversation. So uh, the coffee break is going to be served in a couple of minutes. See you in 30 minutes for the next section. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Andrea. Thank you.